so guys, off to the shed. Knife making. A spoon knife. But I thought I'd show you that. Spectacular. That's going to get to minus four or five tonight, so I don't put much hope for that. Uh, wild plum, but I don't get much hope for that surviving. That's unbelievable. My other plum, which is a bit less advanced than that, might manage to get some fruit this year, as the cherry has got a few blooms on too, but into the shed. So guys, as you might remember, I've got this saw. I'm going to make another um, spoon knife. The other one I did, I made it a little bit too hard, but basically what I'm going to do is nick that off with grinder. Take that off with grinder and uh, shape it up and turn it into a spoon knife. Hopefully this one will work better. The other one, I wanted it more curled. I had it too straight, which meant I was working a lot like that. This one's going to be left-handed because I am a southpaw. So what I've got to do now is normalise this. And all I wanted to do was get it up to a red and then I'll just let it cool naturally and that should have just normalised it now it should be soft again. I'll have to wait a minute now. So this is now cool enough to handle and I'm gonna, I'm left handed so I'll use it like this. I don't want to put an edge on this side. I'm not too worried about that, I'll cut that off. And, but the edge I've got to file is this underside edge. Yeah. Now I've seen some of these that are actually curved in this way. So I might try that. Let me leave that for me. Handily bit. Might have gone a bit short. I've got to drill two holes to peen it because it's soft now. And I've got to file that edge. I'll do the holes first, a bit easier. And then I won't lose any fingers if it catches and spins around. So as you can see, I've gripped this because if it does catch, it'll just stop me losing fingers and skin. I like skin on my fingers. Fresh drill bit. See how this one performs. Let's hope it's better. Only slightly better. So, filing. I'm just going to nick that off. I just nicked that end off with that hole in it. I should have actually done it longer and cut that hole out, but we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to put a bit, of mo bit more better edge on that. And then I don't know whether I'll cold bend it or heat hot bend it. Might hot bend it. Not much of an anvil, is it? So after lots of faffing, I've got it to that. <laughs> I'm going to be happy with it and that's that. Because that's the sort of action I've got now. 
probably not best for you. I've just made a, a stick with some um, emery paper on it. Uh, I've gone from 320, 320, 600, 800, 1000, 200. I'm not going nuts on it. I want to clean that back edge off a bit, but I'm not going to nuts on it, but I just want to get it a bit polished before I put a temper on it. And all I'll do is rub a bit of water on there. And just try and get them file marks out, basically. Might be easier to take it knife to stone. This is a bit of hardwood what I've had knocking around. It's already been cut into an handle shape. <laughs> Conveniently enough. And what I'm gonna do is put that in there like that. I'll put a slice down it. But first, I will drill my holes. Bit of shaping. <laughs> Wrong way. Not bad. So, just add enough glue. There's a few empty bits there. I'm not worried about that. I might fill it with super glue. Um, and I'm just going to nip them off, hopefully, with these. And then I can just take it to the grinder or to the. Um, watch your eyes. Now back to sharpening. want to make you suffer all that i spent about 10-15 minutes just sharpening it and touching it up with paper where it were had a flat spot or out like that i got it polished up pretty well 
this little stick obviously does inside of here. There's a bit of a technique to it, I think. I found that doing it like that for inside edge works really well. And then just polishing it back. It is hair popping, well, hair cutting, shaving sharp. <laughs> As you might see, I've got no hair on me, I've been <laughs> testing it, but it is. So, I'll get a piece of wood and get it a go, see what it's like. These are for green wood. I have a piece of green wood. So as it is green wood, your garden saw, because the other saws don't work very really well with it. This is, I'm going to make this into a stick at some point, but it needs to dry out. But this end is green, it can go. old axe that's very green which is nice something to clunk it gummy hammer first I'll take them off That's just very rough, so I can try it. So this is the one that's not going to be a spoon, but I need a piece to try it on. And as I said, this is green wood. It's very knotty. This piece might, the other piece might not make a, a knife after all. But I think that'll do, me. Will it cut through that knot? You're supposed to cut cross grain with these. What I will do though, I'll file that little end off there. File that back round that way. Because that's a bit of a catch. But. I would say that's a success. But I'm not carving a spoon on this video. That'll be on the next one. So guys, before I do go. Once you chop, you just can't stop. <laughs> because that little piece of wood that I were testing <laughs> yesterday, well, I carved it into a spoon. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get a spoon out of it, but I did. And that's what I got. And I just used the knife, the flat knife, and that what I made. Now, I will say, I did mention it before, that needs rounding over a bit. And I'm also going to re-eat it and bend it up a little bit more. But I will re-eat it this time. I tried bending the other one, what I made, the test one, and uh, I snapped that one. So that needs re-eating and re-tempering. I did film the tempering, but I didn't press the film button. <laughs> I sort of switched it off and not filmed it. So, but all I did was eat it up again with blowtorch until it sort of got straw colour, a dark straw, and um, then I quenched it to stop it. I could have done it in the oven, but I didn't want to wait like an hour, two hours. So, but yeah, I'm pleased with that. But what I'll do, I'll eat that up and give it a turn. And then I'll do that other spoon, what I'm going to do. And I might video it if anybody wants to see it. I would do more axe work though, <laughs> because you can take a lot of wood off with an axe. And that took quite a while, but I had a film on. And while I did it, I did it. So don't forget, thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you want to see other video, drop a comment in. Drop a comment in anyway, tell me what you think. And it's always nice to be nice. Cheers.